Hi, today um, I'm going to paint this chair. It's in pretty bad shape. Um, I got this chair um, from my father-in-law's office um, after he passed away. And we tried to have it out in the house, but it, it doesn't look so good. We put it in the attic. We didn't want to get rid of it. Um, so I'm going to paint it with Annie Sloan chalk paint and I'm using Lewis Blue. I'm not entirely sure what I want this chair to look like, um, but I'm going to just start by painting um, the leather portion Lewis Blue and go from there. I cleaned it with, um, I cleaned it with just napkins and vinegar and I didn't get it completely clean, um, but I got it pretty clean. I'm kind of working it in. This is um, going to take two coats. This first coat, I'm just focusing on trying to get it in all the nooks and crannies. As you can see, I'm painting this right here in my sunroom. And just done two old towels that I keep in the garage. Um, but I love not having to take this outside. The reason I don't have to take it outside is there is virtually no odor. Um, and I don't know, the paint just, you have, you have a lot of control with this paint. I guess what I mean is that it blends really well, so you don't um, have paint flying everywhere unless you get too much on the brush. Um, the Lewis Blue has dried. It's just one coat. I'm going to paint the legs French linen. This is what I'm doing. Hey, um, I'm back. I'm done um, with the first coat of French linen on the legs. Again, just have one coat of Lewis Blue. I couldn't locate my other chip brush, um, so I washed my chip brush out, and I've got my second batch of Lewis Blue, um, which again, there's about three tablespoons in there. The chip brush is helping me get into the folds of the leather. And then just kind of get it into the folds, and then if it pools up at all, or just any way, I'm just feathering it out. Right here in the seams. My other brush didn't get in the seams very good. The needle holes. So the next step is going to be putting a second coat of French linen on the legs letting it dry, and then putting on some clear soft wax. So um, I will give this a second coat. Okay, our chair is all dry and it's time to wax it. Um, people wonder often how much wax it takes, how much of the Annie Sloan soft wax it takes um, to wax a piece. And you know, you never know exactly, but um, I think it's going to take about this much, which is approximately um, two and a half to three tablespoons. I might have to get a little bit more, um, but I'm going to start with that. Typically, I clean my wax brush after every use. Um, this last time, though, I barely had to use my wax brush, so I just um, put a glove over it and put it in a plastic baggie. I don't always wear gloves when I wax, um, but I, I, I sort of like to. I always have these disposable gloves around the house. And I have not very much on there at all. And I'm just going to put it on and pull it down. 
and work it in right at that same spot a few times and then maybe come up in the other direction. Down, 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 up, up, up. And then that area is um, really actually very sufficiently waxed. So I can take either my cloth right now and just pull it down over that area. Just gonna wipe it off. Um, or I could have waited until I got, you know, a little farther along, but um, I might as well just take it off right then actually. And I didn't actually buff it just then, I just wiped it off. So I've got a little bit more wax. What I do is I get a smidgen of wax and then I come over here to a clean part of the paper plate and kind of like work it in and move it around. Okay, so again, I'm going to put it on and I'm just going to go down, 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 and then up, up, up. Maybe finish with one more going down. That area is done. I'm going to wipe it off. And I don't actually need any more wax right now. I'm just going to go down, 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 up, up, up. And then, you know, if you miss a little spot, just go over it some more. It doesn't have to be down, down, up, up. I just, I don't know, that works pretty good. Okay, so I got all the legs there. So I'm going to do a pure so that you can see it better. So again, I'm just going to get a smidgen on there. Come over to, I've got about that much. But now, so that's my smidgen I got on it. But now I'm going to come back here on a clean part of the paper plate and just kind of take a little bit off. So now I've got that much. And I'm just going to go down, 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 up, up, up. And instead of wiping it off right there, I'll come over here. I still have enough wax. I still have enough, so I'm just going to put it to the side and go down, 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 up, up, up. And so now I'm just going to take it off. And again, not buffing it at this point, just pretty much rubbing it off. Rubbing it off or rubbing it in, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty much rubbing it off. Okay, I'm back and it's time to wax the Lewis Blue portion of the chair. So, here's my wax. Rub a little bit off. And I hope you can see this. Um, just go for it. I do start out with a little bit lighter pressure at the beginning just because I have more wax there and I'll work that part in more on the other side. So a little bit lighter and then increasing pressure. And I'm just going to go back and forth. Sort of trying to do, I'm trying to do long strokes, but it's not a necessity. Getting a little bit more wax because I do, I want it to look even. Making it even doesn't require more wax so much as it just requires moving it around a little bit. So that looks very even. And now I'm just going to wipe it off. Not really applying much pressure at all to wipe it off. Um, just wiping it off. And again, not buffing at that stage. And let's see, which way do I want to go? I'll just work this way at first. So a little bit lighter pressure and then increasing back and forth. Okay, want it to visually look even. 
And is it taking off my paint? Well, you can see I just brushed this, you know, pretty vigorously. And no, I, I don't have any color there. Has it before? Yes. Um, but this is, I mean, this is a piece of leather here and it's not doing it. So that's pretty cool. Let's feel it. Excuse my attire, by the way. Paint clothes. Okay, it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm extremely happy. It feels exactly like it felt before I did this, before I painted it, except even a little better. Um, it literally feels exactly like it felt before. I'm not going to do the sit test right now just because, um, you know, I just waxed it. I want to let that wax sit on there, but I really, I couldn't be any more pleased, but it came out really good. Just let me show you how I buff real quick. Um, I would just take my cloth. Like the wood, would, it definitely needs to be buffed. There's a slight amount of drag on the wood, um, whereas there's like no drag on this. This is like really impressive. Um, I mean, it feels like, it feels like it was leather that was dyed blue rather than dyed yellow. So very, very, very cool. Um, to buff, lightly, you're just going to buff. And it is like amazing. I know you guys can't see, but a sheen is actually coming to it. A lot of people say to wait um, about 24 hours or so and then buff. But honestly, it works really well for me just to, you know, put it, put the wax on the whole piece. Take the wax off each piece as you go, and then when you circle around a piece a second time, to go ahead and buff right then. Let's see what happens when I buff down here. And again, I'm wanting to use a light hand to buff. Um, when I was wiping it off, I was, you know, wiping it off. But now that I'm buffing, I'm just, you know, buffing. It's like the perfect classy um, amount of just beautiful sheen. So anyway, here's the chair. Um, I hope this video, you know, inspired you to, um, you know, stick to your budget and make over something that you have. Um, Stick to your budget and make over something that you have instead of, you know, buying something new. If I was going to go out and buy a new chair that I liked, I would probably, you know, be spending, I don't know, about 175 or more dollars. Um, and this was a fun project. It only cost me, you know, I don't know, about seven, eight dollars at the most. So thank you for watching.